From VTV Channel 6 Studios in downtown Vernal, this is Local Point with your host, Chris Piner. Welcome to Local Point, brought to you by Strata Networks. I'm your host, Chris Piner. Joining me in the studio, we have cast members of Uena High's upcoming performance of The Phantom of the Opera. Look at everybody smiling. Me too, right? It's so good <laughs> to have you both here on the show today. This Thank is you. what I do when I'm not directing the play or teaching school. Did you guys know that? Yes. I did you know You knew that. that. You've been on a couple of times, haven't you? Well, let's start by having each of you introduce yourselves to our viewing audience. Amber, we'll start with you. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Amber Smith, and I play Carlotta in the Phantom of the Opera. Il Carlotta, the. The Carlotta. The Carlotta. <laughs> That's right. She's amazing. They're all amazing. Cameron? Uh, I'm Cameron Barr, and I play Raoul Vicomte de Chagny. Ooh. It's a, it's a mouthful, but most people have trouble with it, so. But not Cameron. He's got it. So he's yeah, our romantic Yeah, because I, I have to correct him when they, when they mess it up. It's like messing up my name. I'm proud I'm of you. I'm on stage. You've taken it's, it very it's seriously. Me. <laughs> so they're, they're insulting me, not Raul. Well, you two, how long have we been rehearsing this thing? So uh, I, I'm going to ask questions that I, I know the answers to, but for our viewing audience, how long have you been at rehearsal? Since January 2nd. First, I think. Yeah. Right up to Tomorrow right after will be two months straight. And auditions were back no. in November, so this has been an ongoing thing for yeah. quite a long time. That's right. Yeah. So let's uh, let's get right to it. When does uh, camera? When does the the uh, Phantom of the Opera play? What are the dates? Uh, we open the eighth of March, I believe, at seven, and the pre-show is at six forty. Is it the the U tones? It's not the U tones, but we've got a variety of uh, yeah. uh, different entertainment each night. Yeah. It'll be a little bit different. Yeah. So and it runs through. It runs through the fifteenth, I believe. It's the Friday after that, and without the Sunday excluding the Sunday. Don't come Sunday, because we won't be there. <laughs> Don't show up on that Sunday. All right, so this is the Phantom of the Opera, right? The one that people hear about. It's been uh, performed for quite a long time, but not this version, right? No. Do you know the difference, Amber? From the movie? From the Phantom of the Opera. Just any Phantom of the Opera. I'm tricking them here a little bit. You could do the Phantom of the Opera. The story is very old, so they're very... Uh, uh, many different versions of it, but this one is the one written by Andrew, Andrew Lloyd, Lloyd Webber. Webber. That's right, the famous music that everybody's come to love and, and be very familiar with. It's a good one. So, do you guys know a little bit of the history of the show? We'll, I, we'll I do don't. a little history lesson together. Okay. Cool. <laughs> Why not? I'm a history teacher too. So, <laughs> The Phantom of the Opera was, was actually first introduced in London. Do you know how many years ago? Two hundred. How many years ago? Two hundred years ago? What? No. <laughs> Three hundred. It was twenty-seven years ago. 27. But you're very was, close. Amber, nice. we'll give the points to Amber for this <laughs> round. So that's very good. So it celebrated its twenty-fifth anniversary just two years ago. Yeah. But in America, here on Broadway, how many years? Eleven. Twenty-five. Twenty-five. The points again. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. So I got we, nothing. So for the Uena High School production, you're celebrating the 25th anniversary of the Phantom of the Opera right here on Broadway, right? And right here in America. Our biggest performance ever. I, I think so. Yeah, this thing is massive, isn't it? It's big. Yes. Yeah. So, uh, do you have a favorite part of the show, Amber? We'll start with you. Oh, my favorite part is Umuto. Oh. And everyone's wearing the big dresses and the big wigs. And yes. You get to laugh a lot. Very good. I thought it might be the part where you have the human head. And you're, no? I don't like that. I love that part. <laughs> I love that. There's so many good parts. Camera, what's your favorite part? Um, I, I like all the show, but people judge me for it and they make fun of me. But honestly, it's the rooftop scene because that's like, that's like the scene where, you know, I finally, I, I kind of get the girl and yeah. people start being on my side. And the visually, that's when, it's a that's very when beautiful pick scene. Up. Yeah, and yeah. it's my favorite song of the whole of the whole show. So. Oh, it's one of those songs that people come to this show to hear. Mm -hmm. And I can say, as the director, that this show is one of those, that you're not going to be disappointed by the, the vocals at all. That We've got scenery, we've got costumes, we've got special effects we're going to really surprise the audiences awesome with. Ones. But you won't <laughs> be disappointed when you hear these guys sing either. They're going to sing the songs just the way you want them to. They sound fantastic. Thanks. I'm quite proud of you guys. Now, do you know how many people are in the cast, either of you? Uh, a little over 60, I want Approximately, to guess. right? Yeah. With cast and crew, about 60 people, and a whole host of adults working on this thing. Yeah. It's a, a lot big, more than I've seen. It's a big deal. Yeah. It's pretty big. <laughs> it's All exciting. Right. So, 
favorite moment in rehearsal? Have you had any of those? Because we've been rehearsing for a long time. I you smile. I saw a well, smile. <laughs> yesterday was the first day that Raul and Christine kissed, and it just made me feel really, really good. <laughs> Very I, good. Just watching the actors, like, Afterwards. Well, Kira, that's got to make you feel pretty good, right? That's yeah. That's character. So <laughs> it's a favorite moment, right? right? There. <laughs> Actually, it was really very, very beautiful. Like I said, uh, the the whole set is is great there. The way you two handle it, the believable romance, that's and the good. audience is going to be right behind you too. That's good. Yeah, I like that part too. So. Now, in rehearsal, we've also been dropping that chandelier, Cameron. That was going. You were going to mention that. I was going to say right? that. I was. I wasn't sure if we were allowed. You know? You can mention it. You can mention away, it. But it's it's definitely the coolest one that I've seen. I think it's better than Broadway's. I think that's okay <laughs> to say. It's gonna be it's gonna be cooler than Broadway's. So. Well, we'll we'll let uh, we'll let our audiences decide if that's true. But it is. Uh, I think it'll. I think we'll get a couple of screams out of the audience. I for think you. some so, people yeah. might want to bring extra <laughs> pants. All right. <laughs> because. All know. right. Well, you two. Thank you for coming. And I'm going to talk to a couple other cast members here in just a moment, and uh, and then we'll get right back to work on Phantom, right? Yeah. Yes. All right. We'll be right back to hear more from uh, more of the cast after this quick message from our sponsor, Strata Networks. Strata Networks is proud to bring the first true 4G LTE network to the Uinta Basin. 4G LTE is the most powerful mobile broadband available anywhere in the world. With speeds up to 10 times faster than 3G, you can stay connected like never before. Video chat without delay. Stream HD TV or movies in an instant and download or upload in seconds. For details, visit us in Roosevelt or Vernal or call 622-5007. More speed, more power. 4G LTE, only from Strata Networks. Welcome back to Local Point. We're here talking about the upcoming Uena High production of The Phantom of the Opera. How exciting is that? It's pretty exciting. Pretty exciting, yeah. right? Well, I'm not it's lie. really cool. We got to visit with uh, two of your castmates here in the first segment, and now today, uh, in this piece, we're joined by two more. So let me have you do the same thing they did introduce yourselves and your character to our viewing audience. Okay. I'm Melissa Turner, and I play Christine Daye. And I'm True Marie, and I played The Phantom. That's right. And you're, right now, this is not the hair that you'll have. People will not nope. recognize you, will they? No, no, no. Right? But you do have a little bit of a mask going on if you pull the hair down just a little bit. Yeah, my hair is like ridiculously <laughs> long right now. Like, I don't know, it's, it's comparable. Yeah, it's a little bit. It's pretty close. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> Well, it's great to have you guys here, and I'm, uh, as, as the director, just so proud of you two. So proud of you. I can't wait for the audiences to see what you have been working on. You have been working so hard. Oh, I know. Well, let's yeah. talk a little bit about what's going on here. So we've got the, the dates coming up. Uh, what are the, we repeat these dates for me, True. The dates uh, that Phantom is running. Phantom starts on the 8th at 7 o'clock, correct? Right. And it runs through the 15th, but we will not be running the show on Sunday, so... Just go straight go. through with yeah. uh, with the exception of Sunday. Exactly. Right. And Alyssa, how much are tickets and how do you get them? Tickets are seven dollars and you can get them from any cast member or at the door. Or so online. Right? Or online. Yeah, I believe I you can you get them get online. online. Yeah, that's right. Oh. That's so cool. <laughs> yeah, it is pretty cool. Now once the production opens, there should be some available at the door, but only as long as they last. And and a lot of those, especially right now, those closing night performances seem to be selling oh, yeah. the most. Yeah. So you don't want to miss this, right? We want people to come in and, and uh, start early. They just might want to come back and watch it again. You never know, right? I think so. All right, so um, Rattle off a couple of the songs, True, that that uh, that are from the Phantom of the Opera, and, and Alyssa chime in with a couple too. Let's see. Okay. There's Masquerade, Music of the Night, All I Ask of You, um, the song from El Muto. Do not skip Phantom. Uh, of course, the Phantom. Phantom of the course, Phantom, Phantom of the Opera. That <laughs> That's right. Give me a couple others. What else did he skip? Um, we I sing Think of Me. That's right after Hannibal, and there's a whole bunch of How about songs. the cemetery? Yeah, the cemetery scene. What's wishing, it called? Wishing, wishing You Were So you Higher Again. That's right. Yes, very good. That's All right. right, we were playing for points last time, so we'll give you points for that one. Now, okay. That'll count, right? Well, you get points, too, for okay. rattling off all of those true points for everybody. All right, okay. so uh, it's, it's the familiar musical right here on stage in the Uinta Basin, and uh, did you mention how much tickets are? You said where they're, where they're sold? Yeah, they're yeah. $7. $7. What a deal. Huh? Where else can you see the Phantom of the Opera for 
seven dollars. That's pretty exciting. Yeah. <laughs> Only right. here, right. I think. Yeah. Only yeah. here. Right. Well, uh, did I asked uh, the other two this question. Let me check with you. Do either of you have a favorite part in the show or during rehearsal? I, I have a few. Well, let's hear. Uh, technically, my favorite part right now is um, around the end of Act One because it's the rooftop scene. Uh, it's right after uh, Christine and Raul just kiss, and you just see the Phantom devastated. I mean, oh, yes. the love of his life just went off with another, another man, and it's just such a cool scene. And that's where the whole turning point of the show is. I mean, this is where everybody's conflicted of, oh, should, we, should she go with Raul, or she should, go, should she go with uh, Phantom? It's just really cool. That's right. And I've got to say, having watched you do that scene, you do it so well. I, I again, eager for other people to get to see uh, what you do in that scene. Alyssa, do you have a favorite part? Um, <laughs> not really. I like the whole show, but Masquerade's a lot of fun. It's just having fun on stage, pretty much. That's so. right. The great song that so many people know. Yeah. Everybody <laughs> in fun costumes all over the place. And that's a, that's a pretty impressive set, if I yeah, say so. Yeah, it's right? cool. That, that, it's that, cool. That piece looks pretty good, I think. All right, so audiences have, uh, they, they have uh, everything they, they expect, right, from this? Oh, yeah. They're going to get to yeah. see the, yeah. the, sh the dropping chandelier, right? That's, that's, <laughs> that's going to be way cool. Yeah? Look at that facial reaction, it's right? Intense. Just these it's going to be They're in the cool. cast. It is pretty intense. And uh, they get to see the, uh, the beautiful Phantom's lair. Oh, yeah. Right? I can't yeah. wait for that scene, And the actually. boat. And and all of that coming through with the lanterns and yeah. the <laughs> organ and the, the throne. So there's some pretty cool things in here. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's going right. to be way awesome. I can't wait for the show. Well, I can't wait for it either. And I'm glad you guys came today. I hope we pack the, uh, the houses and uh, we create a memory that will last for many, many years to come. All right. Thanks, you two, for coming. And thank you for watching today's show. That's all for now. Please join us next time right here on VTV Channel 6.